The Senate will come to order. Remaining under motions and resolutions, Senator Gazelka. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I move that House File Number 13 be taken from the table. On that motion, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. Senator Gazelka. Mr. President, I, I uh, move that an urgency be declared within the meeting of Article 4, Section 19 of the Constitution of Minnesota with respect to House File Number 13 and that the rules of the Senate be so far suspended as to give House File Number 13 its second and third reading and place it on final passage. Members, uh, just a reminder that a motion to suspend the rules takes a two-third majority or 45 votes to prevail. On the Gazelka motion to suspend the rules on House File 13, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. The Secretary will give the bill its second reading. House File Number 13. Second reading. Discussion on House File 13, Senator Rood. Thank you, Mr. President. House File 13 is the legacy omnibus bill. Um, I will tell you that um, it is the bill that we laid on the table last week. And laying it on the table, this bill has just aged like fine wine. It's even better coming back than when we laid it on the table. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, if you recall, uh, the legacy bill that passed unanimously out of this um, Senate floor is $645.6 million. That is divided into four um, pieces. Uh, the Outdoor Heritage Fund is $128 million. Clean Water Fund is $256 million. Parks and Trails, $110 million. And the Arts and Cultural Heritage is $148 million. The House file is identical to the Senate file. Um, you have all seen this. It's a great bill, so I ask for your support. Discussion on House File 13, Senator Dibble. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, um, and thank you, Senator Rood. Uh, age like fine wine, indeed. I do, uh, do have to take the opportunity, however, to point out I think the cork crumbled a little bit, and there's a few little chunks of old cork in there. I still maintain that um, those elements out of the Clean Water Fund to fund the, the CREP uh, grants and to fund the Soil and Water Conservation Board activities and programs is unconstitutional, and I think we need to remedy that at a minimum by finding some way to pay the Soil and Water Conservation District, or excuse me, the um, Clean Water Fund back at some point, as we've done in the past. I did want to mention uh, also, Mr. President, Senator Rood, um, I don't think anyone mentioned um, uh, when we talked about the bill, maybe they did, if they did, I missed it, but I did want to say, um, convey my thanks uh, and, and my um, support for having maintained uh, the 47% allocation out of the arts and uh, cultural heritage legacy funds uh, for the State Arts Board. I think that's an important uh, agreement that we've made since the outset, and I'm glad to see that this bill upholds that. Thank you, Mr. President. The Secretary will give the bill its third reading. House File Number 13, a bill for an act relating to state government appropriating money from outdoor heritage, clean water, parks and trails, and arts and cultural heritage funds. Third reading. Final discussion on the bill. Senator Rood. Thank you, Mr. President and members. Um, I, I just need to address the Soil and Water Conservation uh, District funding. It's the boots on the ground. This is the third biennium that we have funded it this way. Six years, and it's worked very well. I have listened to um, many people th say that this is unconstitutional, but it has never been proven to be unconstitutional ever. And I will tell you that no one in six years, not the governor, not the legislature, not the agencies, not the um, nonprofit organizations has ever come up with a solution for the soil and water conservation districts, none of them. They all complain every year that we shouldn't do this. I will take full responsibility for funding them because I think it's the right thing to do. And it has proven to be effective. 
I had a meeting with the Clean Water Council this morning, and I told them that if it's not the right way to fund it, then in your next recommendations for the budget, don't use the soil and water conservation districts to implement your projects. They implement over 90% of the Clean Water Council's projects and the agency projects. So if you don't think it's the right place to fund it, don't use them. So members, uh, I take full responsibility for putting that in the bill for the last three bienniums. I think it's the right thing to do. I think we are looking for a solution to a problem that no longer existed. So with that, uh, I appreciate all the comments and all the hard work on this bill, and I would ask for a green vote. Members, we're on final passage of House File 13. See no further discussion. The Secretary will take the roll. All members in alternate locations, please come to the chamber to vote. I'll call on Senator Frentz to report the votes of the members voting under Rule 40.7. Senator Frentz. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Carlson votes aye. Carlson votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Champion votes aye. Champion votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Eaton votes aye. Eaton votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator E. Ken votes aye. E. Ken votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Fate votes aye. Fate votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Franzen votes aye. Franzen votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Her votes aye. Her votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Isaacson votes aye. Isaacson votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Latz votes aye. Latz votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Newton votes aye. Newton votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Putnam votes aye. Putnam votes aye. Senator Frentz. And Senator Torres Ray votes aye. Torres Ray votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator An Abler votes aye. Abler votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Anderson votes aye. Anderson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Coleman votes aye. Coleman votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Dornick votes aye. Dornick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Goggin votes aye. Goggin votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Housley votes aye. Housley votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Johnson votes aye. Johnson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Kiffmeyer votes aye. Kiffmeyer votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Lang votes aye. Lang votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Osmick votes aye. Osmick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Rarick votes aye. Rarick votes aye.
Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Senator Westrom votes aye. Westrom votes aye. All members having voted who have the desire to vote, the Secretary will close the roll. There being 66 ayes and zero nays, the bill is passed as title agreed to. Remaining under motions and resolutions, Senator Gazelka. Uh, Mr. President, I move House File Number 7 be taken from the table. On that motion, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. Senator Gazelka. Mr. President, I move that an urgency be declared within the meeting of Article uh, 4, Section 19 of the Constitution of Minnesota with respect to House File Number 7, and that the rules of the Senate be so far suspended as to give House File Number 7 its second and third reading and place it on final passage. On the Gazelka motion to suspend the rules uh, for House File 7. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. The Secretary will give the bill its second reading. House file number seven. Second reading. Discussion on the bill. Senator Thomasoni. Thank you, Mr. President and members. House file seven is the higher education finance and policy bill. Members, this is a really good bill. We already had a robust discussion on it and with a real lot of positive comments. The bill itself does a really good job of <coughs> funding our, our systems. It does a really good job of taking care of our students and members. The overall effect of the bill will be positive on both colleges, students, and faculty. So members, I appreciate your support. Discussion on House File 7. Secretary will give the bill its third reading. House file number seven, a bill for an act relating to higher education, providing funding and policy changes for higher education. Third reading. Final discussion on the bill, Senator Marty. Thank you, Mr. President and Senator Thomasoni. I agree this is a much, much better bill than left the Senate originally. Um, I do want to just overall comment about the fact that we have a commitment in our state law to fund two thirds of public higher education and we are not getting closer to that goal. We are nowhere near what we say we're going to do, and I think we've had a generational uh, inequity where we're punishing current generation of students with huge debt loads, and I, I will say I think the bill is, again, much better than it was, but I, I don't think we as a society are living up to the commitment that we put into law in this state, and I think that's a shame. Any final discussion on the bill? Members were on final passage of House File 7. See no further discussion. The Secretary will take the roll. All members not in the chamber, please come to the chamber to vote. Call on Senator Jasinski to report the votes of the members voting under Rule 40.7. Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Abler votes aye. Abler votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Anderson votes aye. Anderson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. 
Senator Coleman votes aye. Coleman votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Dornick votes aye. Dornick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Goggin votes aye. Goggin votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Housley votes aye. Housley votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Johnson votes aye. Johnson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Kiffmeyer votes aye. Kiffmeyer votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Lang votes aye. Lang votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Rarick votes aye. Rarick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Westrom votes aye. Westrom votes aye. S Senator Frentz. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Carlson votes aye. Carlson votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Champion votes aye. Champion votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Eaton votes aye. Eaton votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Eakin votes aye. Eakin votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Fatay votes aye. Fatay votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Franzen votes aye. Franzen votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Her votes aye. Her votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Isaacson votes aye. Isaacson votes aye. Senator Frentz. Senator Latz votes aye. Aye. Lats votes aye. Senator Friends. Senator Newton votes aye. Newton votes aye. Senator Friends. Senator Putnam votes aye. Putnam votes aye. Senator Friends. And Senator Torres Ray votes aye. Torres Ray votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Osmick votes aye. Osmick votes aye. All members having voted who have the desire to vote, the Secretary will close the roll. There being 66 ayes and zero nays, the bill is passed and its title agreed to. Remaining under motions and resolutions, Senator Gazelka. Remaining under motions and resolutions, Senator Gazelka. Mr. President, I move that Senate file number nine be taken from the table and re referred to the Committee on Finance. On that motion, all in favor. Mr. President. Senator Marty. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, first of all, I, I have a question for Senator Gazelka if he'll yield. Uh, Senator Gazelka will yield. Senator Marty. Mr. President, Senator Gazelka, this bill we were having a good debate on on Friday, and I think we made some good progress on the bill was amendment adopted and so on, and I'm wondering, we've already heard this bill in finance. Could you tell me why it should go back to finance? Senator Gazelka. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Senator Marty, members, there's a number of things that we are going to uh, have a conversation about uh, re remo removing and adding uh, and moving some things to another bill to work with the House to get some things passed uh, from both bodies. Mr. Senator Marty. Mr. President, thank you. Um, first of all, I guess I'd like to ask for a roll call on this, because I, I think we were having a very thoughtful discussion on the Senate floor with 67 of us having a say and an input in this, and we put on some good amendments. And if there's a desire and we're having discussions, as I think you called it, we're having discussions about what should be in the bill and shouldn't be in the bill, isn't that the appropriate debate that we should be having on the Senate floor? It's very rare when we have a debate on the Senate floor. After we have the debate, then we decide, well, let's send it back to committee. And I guess I'd like some sort of commitment that the, the changes we put on the Senate floor are going to stay in the bill and not take it to a committee that I think there are seven or 10, 12 of us on and have us make a decision for the full Senate when the Senate overwhelmingly, three quarters of us voted to put on this amendment, an important public safety bill. So I want to want to ask, is there, Mr. President, Senator Gazelka, can we have some sort of commitment that the Senate floor action isn't going to be undone? 
Uh, Mr. President, members, uh, we've, we've had some conversations. I think uh, Senator Bach can give some additional insight into that as well. Senator Bach. Well, thank you, Mr. President. Senator Marty, uh, I think one of the things we don't do on the floor is move money around in, in and out of bills. That's generally done in the Finance Committee because they're the ones that keep score. I just can tell you uh, we're struggling in the idea of getting a bonding bill put together. Uh, and the bonding bill is where the leaders have agreed that $70 million of broadband spending is going to be parked. Uh, and it's not in the jobs bill today. And I've asked leadership if they would think about putting it in the jobs bill uh, be because we, I think all of us want to make sure we make an investment in broadband this year. And relying on a bonding bill that may not happen is, I think, a risky strategy. So my hope is that uh, when this gets to finance, that will be added. Uh, and I know uh, the, the speaker called me this morning. We've been texting back and forth. There's some other things that leadership are considering relative to this bill that probably more appropriately are done in finance than on the on the floor because it's significant spending. Mr. Senator Marty. Mr. President, the amendment that was put on on the Senate floor did not have any budget um, implications. So I, I guess the, my question still stands is that provision that passed with a three-quarters of the Senate vote, um, is that going to remain on the bill or is there any going to be any attempt in finance where it would be inappropriate to take that off? So I guess I'm wondering, can we have a commitment that that's going to remain on there? Senator Gazelka. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Member Senator Marty, uh, I believe they will be discussing that in uh, finance as well. Uh, it, uh, so talking to Senator Rarick, uh, there was some problems with the amendment as, wa as was uh, adopted. So I'm sure they'll have a conversation about that as well, as well as about three other items. Mr. President. Senator Marty. Mr. President, I, I guess I don't see a lot of comfort in that if, if Senator Rarick has problems with that amendment. It seems to me that would be an appropriate thing to fix here. If you want to send it back to finance to take a look at other things that you might want to move to other bills or whatever, I can understand that. But I guess I think we deserve a commitment that this is not changed. If you want to amend that provision, you don't like it or something, you offer it on the floor where there are, again, 50 members of the Senate who supported that provision. So I guess I'd like a commitment on that before being willing to support anything about moving a bill off of the Senate floor in the middle of debate on that bill and saying we're going to re rehash the debate where only a handful of members of the Senate can do it. And I guess without that commitment, I strongly urge people to vote against that. Senator Bingham. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, would Senator uh, Gazelka yield for a question? He will yield. Senator Bingham. Senator Gazelka, do you recall the margin of um, uh, the number of yes votes on the skilled and safe worker amendment that I offered to this jobs bill on Friday? Senator Gazelka. Uh, uh, Mr. President, Senator Begum, no. Senator Begum. Thank you. Um, Senator Gazelka, it was 50. That is 75% of this body. That is over half of the majority caucus. It is unconscionable that this body would limit the debate on such a manner where only a few members, predominantly of the majority because of how the committee structure is done, would strip out a provision that keeps workers safe and communities safe. And when 75% when of this body and half of the majority caucus supported it, I think that the public will not look kindly onto that. I know my community would not look kindly onto that. Um, and I would urge a no vote on re-referral. Let's take this up and um, we can, you know, when the time comes, if there's an amendment that needs to clarifying amendment, that's your guys' decision on how you want to handle that. But I would say if Senator Rarick had a problem with his own amendment that he wrote, 
I'm assuming he would have brought that up to leadership. Senator Gazelka. Mr. President, uh, Senator Bigham, uh, thank you for your advice. Uh, we still think that it's wise to uh, let the Finance Committee sort through these issues, including that one. Uh, when it comes back to the floor, we're, we're going to be able to have another discussion with everybody here uh, to have a conversation about what they did or didn't do and why, and then we can decide whether it's, uh, the, the bill is the right bill to send forward to the House. Members, a roll call was requested. Seeing no further discussion, the Secretary will take the roll. Any members not in the chamber, please come to the chamber to vote. I'll call on Senator Frentz to report the votes of the members voting under Rule 40.7. Senator Frentz. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Carlson votes no. Carlson votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Champion votes no. Champion votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Eaton votes no. Eaton votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Eakin votes no. Eakin votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Fateh votes no. Fateh votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Franzen votes no. Franzen votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Herr votes no. Herr votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Isaacson votes no. Isaacson votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Latz votes no. Latz votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Newton votes no. Newton votes no. Senator Frentz. Senator Putnam votes no. Putnam votes no. Senator Frentz. And Senator Torres Ray votes no. Torres Ray votes no. Senator Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Anderson votes aye. Anderson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Abler votes aye. Abler votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Coleman votes aye. Coleman votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Dornick votes aye. Dornick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Goggin votes aye. Goggin votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Housley votes aye. Housley votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Johnson votes aye. Johnson votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Kiffmeyer votes aye. Kiffmeyer votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Senator Lang votes aye. Lang votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Sir Osmick votes aye. Osmick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. Sir Rarick votes aye. Rarick votes aye. Senator Jasinski. And thank you, Mr. President. Senator Westrom votes aye. Westrom votes aye. Senator Tomasoni. Mr. President, <clears throat> Senator Bach votes aye. Bach votes aye. All members having voted who have the desire to vote, the Secretary will close the roll. There being 36 ayes and 30 nays, the motion prevails. Uh, members, we're under, uh, we're under motions and resolutions. Um, before I go to Senator Gazelka for a motion to recess, are there any announcements? Senator R Rosen. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the Senate Finance Committee will be approximately 30 to 45 minutes after session. Please uh, watch your emails, and we will be meeting in room 123. 
Senator Kent. Thank you, Mr. President. I imagine that Senator Gazelka will be addressing some of this, but if you could please give us a sense of what you think the rest of the day will hold. Senator Gazelka. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Senator Ken, I just wanted to make sure, but uh, we're just going to be doing committee reports the rest of the day, uh, and so just processing through, trying to wait and work with the House, so I don't think we need everyone here after if, we, if they choose not to. Uh, and I, just a, a second announcement, too, before we go through the recess uh, for the call of the President, but lots of negotiations over the, over the, throughout the weekend, uh, all the way until 10.30 last night. I think we're like one little tweak away from the K-12 bill being done. I think HHS is in the exact same place, just one little thing. Uh, so state gov, I think, is super close. So everything that's outstanding is just closing up now, so that's a good sign. Um, we just have to get through it and then work at the pace that the House can handle and uh, hopefully navigate to a finish that uh, everybody feels like they got something and, and didn't get something. So, Mr. President, I move that we uh, recess to the call of the President. Uh, before we take the Gazelka motion without objection, uh, Senator Klein will be excused from today's session all day. Uh, Senator Gazelka renews his motion to uh, recess to the, call the uh, to the call of the President. All those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed say no. Motion prevails. The Senate is in recess. <laughs>